Hey YouTube, this is me Zipster, and welcome to today's episode of Talk with Dave. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the new series of A Talk With Dave. That's just a joke. Okay, hello and welcome to the new series of A Talk With Dave. And this is the one you've all been waiting for. It is A Talk With Dave and Charlie is a cool like. So sit back, strap yourself in and be ready for a whole new level of epicness. Okay, just before we start, if you have a birthday, email me at davyboys at gmail.com. A birthday coming up soon. And I'll give you a Talk With Dave birthday shout out. Uh, in the next one, or the next one, or the next one, or the next one. Tell me your birthday, and I'll give you a very special Talk With Dave birthday, a wooga. A wooga! Happy birthday. Charlie, welcome to a talk with Dave. How are you? I'm fine, thanks, Davy boys. How are you? Great. I'm fine, thank you, Charlie. That is good to hear. Please ask me a question. Okay, is there a problem? I mean, are you a bit tired? You sound a bit... Anyway, Charlie, what have you been up to? The other week I saw you on the Lily Allen Show. For those in America, Lily Allen Show is quite a big show here in the UK, on BBC. So, um, what were you doing on there? Yeah, the other week. Um, well, yeah, they basically just sent me an email saying, we've watched your YouTube videos, we think you're quite funny, would you like to come on the show? Um, I said yes, because I don't have any standards. <laughs> um, I was on the show for three weeks. Uh, it was quite fun to do, um, but I thought the show was terrible, and I was really pleased when I didn't have to be on the show anymore, because it also meant that I didn't have to watch the show anymore. Um, they didn't pay me for it. That's what they use us YouTubers for, just for free uh, work. A lot of Americans on your videos have been asking what you think of the American accent. I think the American accent is fine. Um, I don't really like it, and I don't really dislike it. The only accents I dislike are the ones where I can't understand what the person is saying. Um, I don't really have anything... Yeah, I don't, I don't have any accent preferences. Do it. I'm not going to do it, because... Um, you put me on the spot. I'm not going to do any accents. I can do quite a few accents, but I'm not going to do it right now. Maybe later. Maybe later. Keep watching. Can't wait. Charlie, if you were a girl, what would you want your name to be? And that's from Ringo Starr, the YouTube user. Not the actual one. No. This is pretty simple, really. Uh, if I was a girl, I'd be called Charlie, because Charlie is a girl's name. Why are you so much like Harry Potter? I mean, so many people have asked this. Harry Potter has green eyes, uh, I have blue ones. Harry Potter has jet black hair, I have, you know, blondy brownie hair. Harry Potter has a scar across his forehead, I have acne. Um, and Harry Potter is a wizard. I am a YouTuber. I am, I am a teenager. I am a teenage boy from England. That is the only similarity. I'm not that much like Harry Potter. Yeah. I told you. Okay, so if you're not cool like Harry Potter, what are you cool like? Charlie is so cool like what? Kay goes to college and Bex1409 asked this. Charlie is so cool like what? Does this mean that I have to tell you what Charlie is so cool like means? Or what? That, it doesn't really make sense. I was originally going to have Charlie is so cool, but that was taken. So I added a like on the end. Basically because I didn't want to add numbers, so I added an extra word. Um, Afterwards, I kind of thought that cool like basically meant like cool, but not cool. So you want to be cool, but you're not. So Charlie is so cool like is me, but I'm not cool. But Charlie is so cool like what? It's grammatically incorrect. There you go, Bex1409. He pulled you up on the grammar. Charlie, your fans seem to be very, very interested in your t-shirts. I mean, they're all quite unique, for example. So can you just show us or tell us your favourites. Thank you for taking an interest in my t-shirts. That's very kind of you. Um, the one I'm wearing today is a Climate Chaos, which is a Surfers Against Sewage t-shirt. Um, I don't surf anymore, I used to. But I'm still against sewage, so I'm still entitled to wear it. My favourite t-shirt is probably my No Pogo t-shirt, just because nobody ever gets the joke. Um, and I always have to explain it to them. 
which I like doing. Uh, it gives me an excuse for, to talk to people. Yeah, I'm not a fan of sewage either. It stinks. Blue Sun Wiz says that she's named after her grandfather. Who are you named after, Charlie? Before I started recording this video, I went downstairs to ask my mum if I was named after anyone. And apparently, I'm named after one of my mum's friend's ex-husbands, who is a doctor called Charles. Which is kind of disappointing. I mean, my middle name is Joseph, which is my grandfather's name. But I prefer my first name to be something, you know, something a bit, a bit better than that. And this is the first time I've heard, like, where my name has come from. So it's kind of, kind of disappointing. Right, now we get on to the interesting questions about relationships, which I'm sure you all, just as I, want to hear about Charlie's relationship. So, Charlie, I'm going to read this one exactly because it's quite interesting the way they worded it. What was your first date or kiss like? Where did you go? Were you nervous, excited, etc.? Any embarrassing moments during the date? Tell us as much as possible about... about it. I guess my first proper date uh, with my first proper girlfriend um, was with a girl called Jenny. We went to a place called the Cadbury's Cafe, which was quite nice. Uh, might have been a little bit awkward at times, can't really, really remember. Um, first dates usually are, so I'm guessing it was. But I think like on the whole we were just talking like normal friends so it wasn't that awkward it's quite fun i also had my first proper kiss with her um yeah that was just kind of wet oh <laughs> who was your last kiss with from julie o'brien and she suggests that maybe it might have been with nerimon last kiss what was that you see it's not good that i have to think about it um it was probably Naramon. Okay. Well, unfortunately, there was one or two more juicy questions about relationships, which Charlie didn't answer. But, yeah, you did answer this one. I mean, do you have a girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend at the moment, but I'm not looking for a girlfriend either, and I'm definitely not looking for a girl on the internet anywhere, because I've tried that twice, and it failed both times. But if I wanted one, I would go into the city where I live and find one. Not on the internet. So finally, as, as you're gaining more and more attention through YouTube and your popularity is growing and growing, you're at 40, 50,000 subscribers, do you ever consider where you might be in five years' time? Like, do you want a, a job as an entertainer on TV or anything like that? I'd love to, like, get, like, a small presenting job somewhere. I guess I could achieve that in five years or, you know, maybe, like, over the five years I could build up onto a slightly bigger presenting job somewhere. I don't know, maybe on T4, I think I'm kind of suitable for that audience. Um, but whatever happens, I think it doesn't really matter to me, because YouTube's always going to be the most important thing, and it's always going to be the thing I can always keep up. You know, presenting jobs can come and go, but this, um, hopefully, stay around for me. So, Okay, Charlie, thank you for talking with Dave today and um, good luck with the future. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did, and please tune in for the next episode of A Talk With Dave, coming in about a week's time. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this interview. Goodbye.